The European Internet Network brings you the news, sponsored by DHL Worldwide Express, your distribution partners. Hello, and welcome to Central Europe Online. I'm Georgia Brennan, and here are some of the stories we're following from Monday, May 25th. The Fidesz Hungarian Civic Party beats the ruling socialists in the polls. The Czech Parliament calls for the finance minister's head. And Austria asks the EU to help in its nuclear dispute with Slovakia. The center right Fidesz Hungarian Civic Party beat the ruling socialists in parliamentary polls on Sunday. Viktor Orban, Fidesz's 35-year-old leader, was greeted by a shout of welcome Mr. Prime Minister as he got out of his car at party headquarters in Budapest. Final results gave Fidesz the most seats with 148 members in the 386-seat parliament. The socialists, led by formerly communist Prime Minister Jula Horn, won 134 seats. For more on the Hungarian elections, see Central Europe Online's top stories. The lower house of Czech Parliament approved a resolution on Friday which could lead to the sacking of Finance Minister Ivan Pilip. The resolution calls for the Prime Minister to ask the President for the Finance Minister's removal and was approved by a vote of 68 to 52 with many abstentions. The move was proposed by the opposition Social Democrats who have been unsatisfied with Pilip's handling of privatizations and housing and energy price deregulations. The United States is concerned about Slovakia's controversial new election law. It has warned the Slovak government that it could hinder efforts to join NATO and the European Union. On Wednesday, the Slovak parliament approved legislation which requires each party within a coalition to gain 5% of voter support. It also bans election campaigning in private media. Stephen Flanagan, a special advisor to U.S. President Bill Clinton, said he has asked Slovak representatives to revise the legislation before it becomes valid. Austria is seeking help from the European Union in its bid to delay the startup of a controversial Slovak nuclear power station. Austrian scientist Wolfgang Kromp, who led a team of experts on a recent visit to the Mohovice plant, warned on Sunday of the possibility of the biggest accident imaginable. Austria is keen to see the introduction of EU-wide minimum safety standards for nuclear plants which applicant states would have to meet. The Slovak power plant is only 75 miles from nuclear-free nuclear Austria's border. And now for a look at Tuesday's weather. Bratislava will see rain showers with a high of 70 and a low of 55. Bucharest and Prague will both see thunderstorms with highs in the 60s and lows in the 50s. Budapest will experience showers with a high of 73 and a low of 55. Ljubljana will see cloudy skies with a high of 59 and a low of 50. And Warsaw will experience thunderstorms with highs in the 70s and lows in the 50s. And that's Central Europe Online. For the European Internet Network, I'm Deirdre Brennan. Today's news was brought to you by DHL Worldwide Express.